So Jess, what can I do for you? Um, just wanted that the hair's getting a little bit thin on top, so I'm just wondering what, the, what you'd recommend to not to remedy it, but to yeah, yeah. best haircut to suit the, what I'm going through at the moment. Okay, yeah, sure. Well, the thing is, with um, with your hair, the back, through here, there's not much I can do without it looking like a comb, yeah. and we, we want to stay away from that. Yeah. But, when you start to thin through the top here, now if you were losing your hair with the front, yeah. you know, I could do a really short fringe and can yeah. make that hairline a little bit thicker. But your hairline's quite strong at the fringe, yeah, it's, yeah. It, at the front here. Yeah. It's just obviously a bit thinner through the back. back yeah. What I would suggest is the longer you leave it through here, the thinner it will look. Because mm. what happens is when it gets longer, it starts to separate more mm. and then it gets whiskier. And that's what kind of gives a kind of thinner effect. Whereas if you go actually a lot shorter, the hair tends to be thicker at the root and gets sort of thinner as it gets longer. Mm. So I think it would actually look, I know it sounds a bit, I think it almost goes against what we're talking about, but yes. almost going shorter when you're thinning is actually better than leaving it longer. Got you. Yeah. Um, so I would definitely suggest that as well. Another good suggestion is with the back and sides, you've got a very good back, like your back and sides is very thick mm. compared to the top. So mm. the longer you leave the back and sides, the difference of the thickness will be more noticeable. Mm. So I've always just gone super short on the back and sides. Yeah. I mean, you don't, you don't have to go down to skin. I mean, I know we spoke earlier, you're happy to go down to skin. Yes, I am. Yeah. skin fade before yeah. you. Yeah. You yeah. want to do that again, Please. that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. But any, anything like, uh, you know, anything from like sort of a one and a half is always a good length because mm. then you start seeing scalp exposure. You start to remove the bulk of the thickness on the back and sides. Okay. So then it doesn't look too different in terms of the thickness here to the thickness on the back and sides by going super short. So I would definitely recommend that. And obviously we'll blend it into the beard. Do you want to yep. keep the beard full and we'll just blend it from the side Perfect. ends down? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Yep. Awesome. Let's do it. Before, when they blended skin fade into the beard, some of them take it quite low and some yeah. quite high. So yeah. um... Well, the thing is, the side thing always starts just a little bit lower, more yeah. like the, the first part of the year where the hairline goes down. So you always want to, I always try and keep the blend very minimal, yeah. like almost like give myself like maybe like a centimeter and a half or two centimeters to blend it mm. into the beard, you know? Because mm. um, the problem is, you start going lower and lower and lower, you, you lose the whole shape. You've yeah. got so much length down here. If I start blending it to here, it yeah, would just exactly. kind of stop and then yeah. come out. You yeah. know? So it's always better to kind of like, you know, just, just like less is more almost. It'll automatically blend itself because there's so much hair there. Mm. You're lost in the hair. Mm. So it kind of automatically, kind of automatically blends itself in some ways. These sort of hair, how, how often do you think you need to come and get it to maintain it? Your hair cuts? Yeah. Um, something like this, a skin fade and things, you know, you want to keep on top of it quite regularly because it's it's such a big, like, it, when you when you when your skin fade grows out, you notice it so much. Like, mm. I know people who like it. I, I, I am so guilty of saying this myself. Like, when I used to have a skin fade all the time, or even just a short, like, a shaved head, I'd, get, I'd be like, every two weeks. Because yeah. I'd be like, oh, it's so long. Yeah, exactly. and you're like, it's not really, yeah, is it? Like, doing, yeah. It's not really that long, is it? Really, you know? It's not. Like, no, yeah. it's not. But with but that hair, you notice it growing so much because you because you go from scalp to nothing. Mm. As soon as you start seeing, as soon as you start seeing hair grow on the side, oh it looks long. Mm. So you've lost you've lost the effect of the, mm. of, the, of the the skin fade. So I'd probably say something like, yeah, I mean, look, it's all those things. It's all it all comes down to your lifestyle. How often you can actually get to the barbers. Mm. You know, what's your relationship like, like with your barber as mm. well? You know.
just gonna break this in the, up a little bit and I'm gonna just get it gradually short towards the back, all right? Finished now at the length. With the hair being a bit thinner, I wouldn't overly texturize it because it, with it, with it being a thinner texture, it, it will move around itself with a little bit of confidence. So if you start overly texturizing it, it just thin it out. So I'm going to let that give it a bit more of a, like a natural texture in a sense, and then mainly aim at just kind of bringing this fringe sweeping up and over. So maintain the height of the fringe, showing off how strong the hairline is at the front. What people are going to see now is this kind of sweeping look at the fringe, but it's not going to be focused on the back here, so that's what we're aiming for. But again, the shorter you go through the back, uh, the thicker it can look, because again, being thicker at the roots and not as long and wispy towards the back, it doesn't clump up as much. So things you can use to um, thicken up, um, so you thin, find a texture of even just thinning hair. One of the best products you can buy is a texture spray or a salt spray. It gives a thickness to the hair that you can't really get by putting a product on it because it obviously is going on damp hair and you dry it in. So it also has to give like a, a very natural, completely matte finish, but it gives a, th a thicker feel to the hair as well. I have a little feel of that for me, just. Oh yeah. I mean, it feels mm. a little bit thicker mm, too. It does, yeah, definitely, yeah. So that's a salt spray. I always look at a texture spray or, or some form of a, like, like salt spray or something as like a base product. So it's something you put in first, but then um, as like when you're drying the hair through. It's good to stop the hair from being damaged by the heat too. So when it comes to styling, you want to stay away from anything that's wet. Any sort of very wet look pomade. Um, any waxes as well, stay away from wax. It will just, it will separate the hair, so it'll almost make it look even thinner. So you want to go for something like matte clays or a, a very matte cream or matte paste or something like that. That's something that's very, very dry. That will give, again, a thicker appearance and it'll clump the hair together more than separate the hair. I'd say anything that's got matte on it is what you want to look for. Um, again, the drier look is better for thinner hair. The Regal Gentleman matte clay, is, again, it's super, super dry. So I'm using a little bit of clay. <laughs> okay, you don't need a lot, okay? Just work it through. Make sure you work it through your fingers as well, like that, because that's going to be going through the hair. So we start at the back, which I always say, and work it through. So again, just imagine you're shampooing your hair at home. That's the best way to apply a product, especially for this look, because you want to get the product right into all of the hair. Now, if you just do this at the fringe, you're only going to have product in the fringe. Then you can just run it comb just slightly through it, and that'll do. It'll just bind the hair together, and just run your fingers over the top of that as well. So I don't know if you can see, but that automatically looks so much thicker. So I'll show you the back and sides. Look up here. Can you see? Mm. Mm. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So can you see by taking the back and sides short? Yeah doesn't have so much of an effect of being thinner on the top as well mm. because the thickness has been removed mm. so you can't tell. So again there's loads of little tricks you can do to give that thicker appearance. Um, so again choice of product, matte, a matte finish, going nice and super tight on the back and sides to get away, take the thickness 
um, effect off because obviously it's thicker on the back and sides. Um, but also, you know, going shorter in the thinner areas. I know it, it does seem to go against all logic, but it works. Mm. So obviously, don't go too short. We just go to a sort of like a, a medium length, so say it's two inches, take it down half halfway or something. But obviously, look at what you, where your hair is thinning as well. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, nice, isn't it? Yeah, spot on. Awesome. Thank you very much.